All right, guys, hello. So I'm gonna be going over glaze right now. Glaze is what you paint on ceramics, what you paint on clay, that after you put it back into the kiln, that's right, folks, it's gotta be fired again. It turns into this nice, shiny coating, which is actually a thin layer of colorful glass. So again, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take our projects. It doesn't matter what you're making, the process is the same, and show you how we're gonna turn it into a thin layer of glass. So a couple things to know. One, glaze is way expensive. It's much more expensive than paint. So this container of glaze, I could buy one of these or I could buy 10 uh, the same size of paint. So please be respectful of the glaze. Uh, because again, it's very expensive, so we don't even get to use it um, that often. Couple other things too, is that the color that it is right now, and I'm gonna show you some examples, um, is not the same color that it's going to turn into when it goes back into the kiln and gets fired for the second time. It was already fired once, that's why your project is hard. Now it's kind of like glass right now, it's not it's ceramic, but if you uh, dropped it, it's going to shatter just like glass would. So please be careful with your projects so you don't um, break them. Um, and we might even have to write our name with pencil or something, even though you're gonna to have to write it again when it comes back out of the kiln for the last time. All right, enough blabbing. Glaze works often like paint, except there's a couple things. So I'm gonna, um, use just this small selection. Now, these glazes don't look beautiful. So I look like I have got like this pasty pink, I don't even know what that is, some mustardy looking yellow and some wishy-washy orange. But these are not the colors that it's going to fire to. For example, the this color right here is actually red. That's the same color that I used on this frog's tongue. All right, so you can see that the um, it doesn't turn out to be the same color once it goes into the kiln, so you're gonna have to listen very carefully. So the orange inside here is actually the same orange that I have inside there. Um, so the colors are just a lighter version of what they are. So in this container, I have red. This is actually really pretty pink. This is a nice yellow. And then I have orange, okay? so. When you paint, same painting rules apply. Start with the larger items. So you need like a medium sized paintbrush. Don't get a huge paintbrush because you make lots of mistakes. Don't get a baby paintbrush because then you're gonna be working forever. So you're gonna need a nice like medium brush. Okay, and um, do not mix the colors of glazes, okay? If you want to mix colors, then I have a special technique for that. Do not mix the colors in um, anything though. So let's see here, I'm gonna paint this elephant, I'm gonna paint it yellow. So dip it, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip, just like you would any other time. Now the way to do this is do something called blocking, which means the first time you paint, you're not necessarily doing their best work. You're just kind of trying to lay the colors down. Did you hear me? I said the first time you paint. Wah, wah. Glaze turns out beautiful, but there's a few negatives. One, it smells funny. It smells funny because it's made of a bunch of chemicals that have a chemical reaction when it goes into the kiln and turns into glass. Uh, two, it turns chalky and kind of gross when it dries. Did I say it smells funny? I think so. And the third thing that you must remember is everything you paint you have to paint three times. That's right, folks. You cannot just be like, done. You've got to paint the whole entire project once, then twice, then a third time. If you are a slower worker, then I'll probably just have you do two times. It's okay, don't panic. But for most of you, it's gonna be three times because again, this is not paint, it is glaze. I got another thing to say. If you make a mistake and you're like, oh no, I got yellow on his eyeball and I don't want that. And you think, I'll just paint some white on top of it. Actually, when it goes in the fire or the kiln again, it's gonna to mix together. So please try not to make mistakes because they will rub together. If you do make a mistake, then you're just gonna take your finger with a little water, I might have to help you, and try to remove the glaze that you accidentally painted. 
all right? So I am not going to finish mine. I just wanna give you some tips and I'm going to have more for you live in class depending on which project that you're working on. But again, go slow. Start with the big stuff first. Paint the whole entire project once, then paint a second time, and then paint a third time. It should take probably two art classes. Um, and that's if you're moving pretty fast. So I'm gonna set mine down because I can't wait for us to get started. Happy arting today.